Hey everyone, welcome to Crest TV here in the Microsoft MTC and I'm with Michelle. For those who don't know you, Michelle, that one person out there watching this that doesn't know who you are, who are you and what do you do here at Microsoft? I am uh, Michelle Bauman. I'm the, I'm the uh, solution specialist lead uh, for EMEA for Microsoft Teams Rooms, which is a new title, which is why we're laughing <laughs> because I'm still struggling to get it out of my mouth and, and Nils as well, but I'm happy to be here. Very cool. Now, <laughs> we are in front of this beautiful Microsoft Teams room system, a lovely Jupiter 21 by nine in this signature room, Panacars 50, all of the great Crestron Friends uh, equipments there. So we're really best placed to talk about some of the cool new features and you're best placed to talk about the cool new features around Teams room system. So Windows has just had a big update, yes. 418, I believe it was. Yep. Talk us through, again, lots of stuff around front row, lots of stuff around this IntelliFraming spatial audio. Tell us, tell them, all the cool new stuff in 418 and why it matters to them. I think the most important things that we release is one, introduction of spatial audio. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a little bit different from the spatial audio you're used to in your living room. Uh, but what we're doing is we're leveraging the stereo channel in a device. So the way that this works is uh, we always talk about the cocktail party effect. You know what that is? Tell me. Oh, okay. So cocktail party effect is if we are speaking at a cocktail party, it could be any party, uh, even though there's a lot of noise around us, mm -hmm. right? I'm still able, my brain is still able to concentrate on the conversation that you and I are having. Yep. And that's also why spatial audio is important. So if somebody is speaking from the left side of the screen, so you're in the front row layout, which means the videos are all on the bottom, uh, you have everybody on their row, somebody might be speaking from the left. Up until now, the audio would still come from the middle, yep. which is very unnatural to our brain. Now, if this person on the left is speaking, the audio will also be coming from the left of the, uh, of the speaker, which again uh, reduces uh, stress on the brain. It makes it easier for us to focus on the conversation. You're naturally going to look across at the different, and again, on a massive 21 by nine display, it's going to make it a lot easier to then look at which side of the screen you're looking at. Yep, exactly. Then the second enhancement is around front row. Okay. So up until now, you had to look into everybody's living room or home <laughs> office, or maybe the office that they were sitting in. What we're doing now is we're going to replace the everybody's background with a gray or black background. Uh, so it's all the same. Plus, what you might a lot of the visuals actually I've seen for front row. You've seen the kind of cutouts of yes. everybody sitting there rather than with the background. So that's obviously was something you were previewing maybe in some of those visuals that's now coming as a feature. Yep, that's now coming out as a uh, uh, as a feature. And also, what you might have noticed in the front row is that one person might have been a little bit larger than the other one <laughs> yeah. in the frame. Now we're going to make sure that everybody has the same background nice. and the size of everyone in the frame is exactly the same as well, which again makes it easier to connect to people because as you hopefully know, the real way to build connections is to have eye contact. Right? And that's why front row is such an important thing because you have that eye gaze to really build connections with people if you are in a meeting where a lot of people are uh, dialing in virtually. Okay, so we've got the front row stuff, we've got the spatial audio. The other big thing around video was the idea around IntelliFraming. Talk to us about IntelliFraming. There's been lots of technology, again, in my previous life, where we used to have very you know, smart cameras there. Crestron's obviously got the one beyond solution with great uh, tracking and framing yep. and, and all that kind of stuff. Also, there's stuff like dynamic composition from Jabra that can do the kind of cutting and chopping up of the video and restitching it back together. But IntelliFraming is something different that obviously you guys are providing. Talk us through IntelliFraming and what, what it means. So, different cameras, different, different features. If there's no AI on board, uh, we can do that composition, we can do that in the Microsoft Cloud for you. So what you'll get is, you, let's say you're in a meeting and you have three people that are sitting in a room. Normally you would look into that room and still it would be difficult to build that connection again because you cannot create that eye gaze between one another. So what you ideally want, you want everybody to have their own same frame. Yeah. Now if the camera is not capable of doing this and not capable of providing multi-stream, and we'll talk about multi-stream in a second, we'll then compose that image for you in our cloud and everybody will get their own little video box in one video feed. Okay. Now that's for cameras that do not have the AI capability. So it's just your off, you know, domestic webcam or you know, maybe a basic just USB camera that has no intelligence in it, no processing capability. And even, and even some, of the, uh, some of the Teams Rooms devices that are already out do not have the capability to deliver multi-stream video. Now if you do have a camera that offers multi-stream video, and there are two in the market now, uh, but you'll see more soon, we'll be able to provide multi-stream video into, uh, uh, into the Teams Rooms experience. So what that means is that everybody will not only have uh, their own little video box in one bundle, 
everybody will actually have their own video box in separate uh, video uh, video streams, which again makes it easier to build that connection. And that processing is then happening locally on those intelligent cameras and or the Windows MTR that's in that room. And that's correct. where that, that compositing and processing is yes, happening. Yes, correct. And I think that's that part to me is very exciting. Uh, what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to do voice recognition and, uh, and face recognition. Mm -hmm. Where that's going to help us is if you then look at the transcript of the video, it'll say Neil, even though we're in the room together, it'll say Neil said X, Y, and Z, Michelle said X, Y, and Z. Now, if we bring this into the world of Microsoft 365 Copilot, we can then ask Copilot, what did Neil say? Did Neil discuss the newest features in 4.18 <laughs> during this meeting, yes or no? And I'll say, yes, Neil said X, Y, and Z during this, uh, this session. So this will also lead us into the world of Copilot. Very cool. So adding more color into that and again, and feeding more data into Copilot that then allows it to make better decisions around the data that it gives For sure, out. yes. Anything else? That, you know, I'm sure there's lots of other, you know, we, we cover the big ticket items, but I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other stuff in there. Anything else that, that people should know about on 418? No, I think these are the, these are the four most important ones that will make the most impact on, on users. Uh, hopefully you have started upgrading. Uh, if, your, if your device allows for it to Windows 11, mm -hmm. uh, I know Crestron has a strategy on that as, uh, as well. So if you can update, uh, we advise you to update, but do contact your OEM to see what the best process is, uh, is there. Uh, and I think those are the most important ones for now. But lastly, I'll pick you up on this because we talked about this in the, uh, we, we don't rehearse stuff, but we had a little chat beforehand. But um, obviously 418 is out now. Where do we go in the future? You dropped in Copilot there and mentioned Copilot. Roadmap wise, can you kind of sneak us and give us the kind of what's going to come in 419 or 4.2 or whatever the next version is going to be with regards to there's got to be some of this co pilot stuff starting to kind of um, you know feed into teams and teams. Yeah, not, not too much in, in detail, but there are definitely plans to integrate more artificial intelligence into the solution as well. Uh, we're learning a lot with Microsoft 365 co pilot, but then also the advancements. Uh, enhancements on the uh, in regards to AI on the device itself and in the team's room solutions. I think you're going to see more of that as well. And if you look at some of the other videos that did, there definitely there's definitely more coming to Pro Management Portal uh, as well. Plus some exciting stuff coming to Android in the future. Very cool, uh, Michelle. Thank you for joining us. Thank you all for tuning into this episode 418. Go and have a try. Go and have a play. Uh, it's free if you've got uh, the license. You know, there's sure. no charge, and you get all these great features. Again, I think the cool thing about this is, is if you've got an existing MT are, it's going to add that additional capability. You're going to get the ability to, to try this IntelliFraming capability, even if you don't have necessarily an intelligent camera. Go and have a look at it, go and have a play of it, and let us know. Give us your comments, uh, feed us back on the video. We do this every Thursday. Where have you been? Subscribe, ring the bell, and we'll catch you on the next episode. I'm going to subscribe TV. now. Okay, okay, cool. Bye. <laughs>